Hey, what up, y'all? I just got my copy of Metal Gear Solid Collection HD for the PS3, in which I can finally actually play Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker for the PlayStation 3. Something I felt that should have been done from the get-go, instead of trying to prove they can make a good game for the PSP, which they did. However, eh, it's just that much better for a game as epic as a Metal Gear game to be on a home console with full controls. Instead of that improvision bullshit, which was better than portable ops, but still. Pain in the ass, and that Wi-Fi crap. Okay, let's see. Shooter type. I have to go with shooter type. Yeah, I guess. Put you through a lot of options. I'm not saying the game should have never been made for PSP, but, I mean, come on. And then to make it funny, in order to play the game to its full potential with the co-op and everything, you have to be right next to your PlayStation 3. And I'm thinking, why the fuck am I not just playing this on PlayStation 3? Instead of this ad hoc system. I have to start over, though. Because I don't have it for PSP no more, so I can't transfer all my data, so I gotta start from scratch. Which is okay, which is okay by me. Your target. Therefore, 
you must first master moving your line of sight. To move your line of sight, use the right stick. Now when I give you an order, look in that direction. Look up. Good. Look down. Good. You should be familiar with the up and down controls now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. Okay. Next, we'll check your left and right. Look right. Good. Look left. Good. You should be familiar with the left and right controls now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. Okay. You can change the controls anytime in options. Go with the method that works best for you. Next, I'll explain how to change stances. If you just stand there like an idiot in front of an enemy, you might as well kill yourself now. At times, you will need to get low to avoid detection. You have three stances. Stand, crouch, and lying down. To change stances, use the crouch button. Tap the crouch button to change between standing and crouching. You can move in either stance. Hold the crouch button and keep it held to lie down. However, you cannot move while you are lying down. I'll say that again. You cannot move while lying down. Is that clear? Lame. Good. Next, we'll work on your movement. Use the left stick to move around. Tilt it a little to walk slowly, tilt farther to run. Decide which to use based on your situation. Remember that your footsteps are louder when running, making you easier to discover. Be careful! Good! Now we have rolling. Rolling is useful for knocking down enemies in your way and for getting away when surrounded. You can also use it to jump over small ditches and other obstacles. To roll, tap the crouch button while running. You got that? Tap the crouch button while running. Don't forget it. That's it. Next, I will explain how to attack without gunfire. You may run into an enemy unexpectedly. You may not have a weapon on you, or you may be out of ammo. You'll still need an effective attack strategy. One well-placed strike and the enemy won't know what hit him. To strike an enemy, press the attack button while standing still. On my command, press the attack button repeatedly and take down your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> Impressive, boss! Next, we're gonna <laughs> practice using the stun rod. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a million and a half volts. Anyone on the receiving end of that is guaranteed to be out cold. To use the stun rod, press the aim button to ready it, then press the attack button. You'll be glad to know we're using mock stun rods for this training session. When your partner attacks, make him believe it's the real deal. Prepare yourself for stun rod training. Go! I'm ready, boss. I got hit half. Fine work, boss! Now, we'll move on to CQC. CQC, or Close Quarters Combat, refers to when engaging an enemy in battle at very close range. It is a quick and efficient way of eliminating a threat. There are various CQC techniques. We will go over each of them. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This will be different from what you're used to. Pretend you are learning it for the first time. The first technique is throwing your opponent. To do this, position yourself near your opponent and press the attack button while you tilt the left stick. Be sure to press the attack button when the icon appears. Now, wait for my command and throw your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. That is incorrect, boss. That is incorrect, boss! Uh, start talking. Uh, boss, you have to press the attack button as you tilt the left stick. Oh, yeah. Fine work, boss! Next, 
I'm going to teach you how to restrain an opponent close to you. This is a cornerstone of CQC. Grab hold of an enemy, and the bastard's life is in your hands. What you do from there is up to you. Just know that if you restrain him for too long, the average person will most likely pass out. Something to keep in mind. Let's begin. To restrain your opponent, hold down the attack button while near them. Restrain your opponent on my command. Go. I'm ready, boss. Fine work, boss! Hey. Now we will throw your opponent after restraining them. To throw an enemy to the ground, press a direction on the left stick when you have them restrained. Restrain your opponent and throw them on my command. Go! I'm ready, boss. Fine work, boss! Now we will try CQC against multiple enemy opponents. You can also take out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have restrained. First restrain an opponent by pressing the attack button near them. Then tilt the left stick to throw them. By tilting the left stick toward other enemies, you can send your captive flying straight into them. On my command, restrain and then throw your opponent. Go! I'm ready, boss. Fine work, boss! Oh, no, dude. Again! Go! I'm ready, boss. Fantastic! Alright! Why don't we do something special since the boss is here? Anyone who feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward! Don't hold back, boss! When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, you'll have to take them on one after the other. To do it, simply press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go! I'm ready, boss. Right. I didn't know he said next after he threw me. Fine too. work, boss! Again! Uh, come on. I Go! I'm ready, my boss.